Hey everybody, it's Rob from Flail Throughs. This is Gundam Battle Operation 2, and this is a guest video from Drunk Zaku with uh, Nova Gundam on the other team. And uh, Drunk Zaku is in the Hobby Hyzak, which is part of the token pack up on PlayStation Network right now. Like most token packs, probably won't show up through the in game store. You will probably have to go uh, check out the uh, uh, Battle Operation 2. Uh, add-ons on the PlayStation Store itself to uh, get a hold uh, of it. But it's an interesting machine. It is a 350 RAID. It uses the, I believe, the Hyper Bazooka Modified and the Hyzak Heat Hawk. And it also has uh, a uh, unarmed, you know, a, a bare-handed uh, sub-weapon, which was the shoulder charge drunk uh, Zaku just used, and also has a grenade that stuns. The only other thing I know of that has that is the Psycho Zaku Mark II, which is, I'm pretty sure, where these colors came from also. But, yeah, it seems to work pretty well. Um, uh, of course, the uh, Hobby Hyzak technically uh, should not have any weapons because uh, this is the mobile suit from Char's counterattack that uh, Gune picks uh, Char, up, uh, Char and Quest up in after Char picks a fight with Amaro. And, uh, yeah, it's basically a Hyzak uh, converted for civilian use so that, you know, hobbyists can fly around in a mobile suit and not have an actual functional uh, war machine. So, yeah, that's, uh, that's the idea. Of course, you know, I'm sure... I'm sure you could just as easily as anything, uh, you know, put weapons in its hands and they'd work, especially a bazooka where, you know, you just have to be able to pull the trigger. The Heat Hawk, you know, you'd think that the various that the power supply for that might have been disconnected, but we are talking about the people who sold Char large rocks uh, to get him to stop dropping large rocks on the Earth. So, you know, they probably wouldn't have thought of that, let's say. Uh, but, yeah. Um, Hobby Hyzak looks pretty good, and uh, I th yeah, I did mention... I done a couple of takes on this now. I did mention I think it's a 350 raid. 350 is where a lot of the uh, token pack suits seem to come in, which I think is fine. The 350s don't seem to show up in the, uh, in the, uh, oh, words, gotcha as much anymore, so that's, that's a great pl uh, place to put them. Put them, you know, put them there, put them, uh, ah, Nova's the one that got him. Uh, using the gym raid, another token pack suit. Uh, but yeah, you know, put them there, put them in clan matches, wherever wherever you can get more low-cost things into the game. I still want 200 back. I have a request for 200 I'm going to have to uh, do uh, a custom room for eventually, or I'll never get it done. But, uh, yeah, I like this. I got it myself. I haven't, I didn't have a round with it ready, and uh, Drunk Zaku said he had one he liked, so that was, uh, that worked for me. And, yeah. That is a uh, gun cannon aqua, which, yep, with type disadvantage, as you can see, he was able to combo that to death pretty easily. It, like I said, it looks good. I haven't looked to see what its enhancements are yet. I, I'm kind of curious about that. But, yeah, I, I, again, I'm just, I, I want this game to have everything, basically. So, you know, if they have to put a bazooka in the hands of the Hobby Hyzak to get it in, get it in. I, you know. And like I said, well, no, I didn't say, I said the last time I tried to record this, that was a really delayed uh, counter that I, unless, unless Drunk Zaku was starting the shoulder charge, which it didn't look like to me, that shouldn't have worked. But let's see, yeah, that's the Gun Cannon Aqua, which good roll there. Yeah, it does have a dodge roll, which not, there was a long time there where there weren't a lot of 350 raids that had that. That is, of course, changing as, you know, the, the game goes on and power creep goes on. And, okay, that's uh, twice Nova's hunted him down. Um, but, yeah, it's... And this is, of course, the new map. This is the first, uh, like, actual round I'm going to be running on the Mass Driver Facility map. And, yeah, I, I played a few uh, uh, tonight, uh, last night and today, uh, today being Thursday, that... Uh, some of which you will see eventually, but it's definitely having that, you know, what do we do with this map factor that, uh, that new maps always have. Like, people are, uh, people are trying to figure out where to go, where to fight, 
uh, what to do and often taking off on their own. Not that that's unusual on old maps either, but just on new maps in particular, you get a lot of like, you know, tour taking like I, I did in the update video yesterday. So that's, oh boy, yep, I think, that, yep, that's probably Nova again because that's Jim Raid. I like the Jim Raid. I need to use that again. But yeah, um, let's see. Oop, some, uh, I think that was Nova coming up behind him again, too. Yep, okay. Yeah, and the, uh, uh, the Jim Raid, of course, has a uh, Federation shotgun, finally, that functions more or less like the campers. It does stun a lot more easily. Speaking of lag, I guess because I think the only reason Drunk Zaku didn't die there is because uh, the acceleration of Nova's downswing stopped just in time. And that's, uh, and I, as far as I can tell, that's like when the active downswing stops. So, yeah, that's... Man, I'm just, I'm just having all sorts of, you know, bad verbal tics today, but just, it was a weird day. Um, my, I got the uh, package I was waiting for that had that, those books I was talking about the other day. And uh, I got it after it got, uh after I got somebody else's packages for a totally different street with the same house number. And the driver caught it uh, when he went uh, to, to deliver the other one and brought my uh, package back, which I am very grateful for. Because, you know, when you're... Ooh, good shoulder charge there. I guess... I guess he out that? But either way, it worked. So, you know, if it works, it works. And, yep, the pilot at the checkpoint managed to bazooka that last 300 health off of him. But yeah, uh, driver brought it back. He was really nice, very apologetic, and just I am I am so glad I got that back because yeah, it's not like when you're ordering things from like a used product store, it's not like you can just reorder some things. That MS and Action Perfect guide I'd been trying to get, they're never they're probably don't have another copy of that. They probably don't have another copy of the GBO one art book uh, either. In fact, I know they didn't because to be honest, I was trying to get multiples, but. Uh, yeah, so, yep, there's the gun cannon Aqua again, it's, uh, teammates, okay, good to use of the bazooka there to stun it out of that downswing that would have knocked him off the building, so yeah, that is a, that is a quick combo kill there, and I think, you know, they're not down much, and it's looking like it may be a comeback, let's see, um, 96-65, yeah, if they can score one more kill, like that one right there, in the last 10 seconds, then uh, as long as nobody dies, should be good. And the health is holding. They got another kill, I believe, so yeah, they're safe. Nice. Yeah, that was a good round. Let's take a look at the final everything. And yeah, like I said, like the Hobby Hyzak, I want to mess with it more myself. Um, boy, their, uh, their support was really... Uh, kicking off there. 104,000 uh, points, 7 kills, 3 deaths, and their gun cannon Aqua still managed to uh, outscore him, which I am absolutely amazed by. But uh, that is going to do it for today's Gundam Battle Operation 2. Many thanks to Drunk Zaku for sending this along. Until next time, everybody take care and have fun. Later! The other thing I was happy to find out about that MS in Action Perfect guide is that despite being sold as used, it was complete and pristine. Like, the, I think I mentioned before, the unpainted strike rouge it comes with, uh, the head comes in two parts, and those parts were still in a baggie taped to the back of the, of the uh, uh, blister inside the package. So, yeah, that is in really great shape, and the... Except for somebody taking out the uh, code for 10,000 DP in GBO2, uh, the Gundam Battle Operation 1 book was in great shape too, so yeah, just really happy to have those. I think I have all the books published about GBO1 now. I'll have to uh, try and figure out if there are any others and get a hold of them if so, but I think it may be just these two.